If you want to make melodic and dubstep, what better place to get tips than TikTok? It's where all the newest artists are getting discovered and blowing up and being a beacon of cringe. But if you spend any time on there, you know it's got a little habit of not giving the best advice. So today I asked to you, can I make melodic dubstep only using TikTok? You've seen me remake Virtual Riot, Seven Lions. Can we separate the good advice from the bad advice? And I'm gonna answer this by trying them out myself in a genre that I'm pretty familiar with. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course I'm gonna find awful tips because I know you want to watch me suffer. <clears throat> I mean, steer you towards the right direction. So I've got Ableton open, I'm gonna follow a few rules. Anytime I need to make something, I search it on TikTok for how to do it. Number two, we follow exactly what they say. Everything from the chords, drum patterns, sound design, even mixing. Three, hope for the best. Try my best not to fix anything. So let's begin with one of the best ways to get your song started. I've seen a lot of these steal the chord progressions all over TikTok, and I'm gonna use that. But I remember last time this failed us greatly. So going in, I expected the worst. No comments this time. A minor, G major, F major, F major seven. Oh, this one bad. was actually not that bad. And being in C major slash A minor helps my little baby brain to go lots of places when writing melodies and such. So into Ableton it goes and threw it onto labs for a nice piano intro. But this can definitely be improved. So back to TikTok. So. How to create piano loops for melodic dubstep. Pick a bass note. Okay. Play chord tones that aren't quite in the chord. And then just add some other diatonic chords. Okay, we got it. You you know music theory, bro. So wait, pick a bass note. That's my bass note. And then pick notes that aren't quite in the chord. So we'll pick two of these that are outside the chord. Oh, that sounds great. What? If I suspend it, it'll be like this. That's not bad, actually. Maybe I was taking them too literally, or maybe they explained it badly, but I can confidently say this is not how you improve a chord progression. After watching this TikTok back, it looks like he was trying to explain suspended chords, but presenting it like pick notes that aren't quite in the scale, then proceeding to show off is kind of just annoying and it's not gonna help. All in all, just terrible explanations that I'm absolutely gonna take way too seriously to make it even harder for myself. Oh, let's put it on top too. Let's just, let's just mess with it. Perfect. Okay. And a bad producer would probably be stuck on this, but <laughs> not me. We need to define the genre. What better way to do that than with... It's in 30 seconds, let's go. First, get a kick and snare pattern like this. That's the drum pattern you said, right? Way more reverb on my snare though. All right, what's next? Add some crashes. Add some crashes. Let's copy the patterns exactly of what he has. I like that he has crash and it looks like he's got another crash layered with another crash that's reversed into that crash. And then three more crashes after that, or they might be rides, who knows? We'll try and copy the drum pattern as much as possible. Perfect. Next, make a ride loop. It's a ride loop, but it's not going to be constant. It's going to it, it's going to change pattern a lot every bar. Listening back to this, oh, I no. began to panic. All the drums, super robotic. Android drum pad machine type B. No, don't do them like that. Why are there so many crashes? Hey, right now, this is far from melodic dubstep. When are these TikTokers gonna start actually talking about basses or sound design? <gasps> Wait. How to make melodic dubstep. Okay. Step one. Why is this? Why? Why? Make some really cool chords with a pluck synth. We'll make this our intro, and then let's make a pluck synth. I can do that. That's easy. <laughs> Guys, that was every drop that I heard yesterday on Banger Hunter. Either make or find your own sample of somebody singing. Okay, no sound design, but we don't need to be annoying and make everything from scratch. We can use presets or samples, but the placement and arrangement is the most important, right? Make a deep bass and add it only on the first beat, but half notes. 
clearly. Just get the bass from the chords. Half note. This is more cringe than an Elon Musk tweet. Little bro just said, put a growl as a half note at the beginning of every bar. By this point, I was slowly losing hope. We were far from anything melodic or dubstep. Lead melody. Does anyone on this app actually know what they're talking about? Hi, I'm Virtual Riot, and I want to show you how I scream. Guy doesn't know anything. Despite the many layers and elements, I prayed that I could make it work. I had one more hope. With all the pieces in place, surely mixing could fix this. This is a fun trick to use. It gets the track moving, but watch it, because it's super powerful. There's loads of dance acts that okay. use this, particularly Daft Punk, but I'm hearing it a lot more recently. So it's definitely worth- Wow, this guy is really good at talking to a camera, but really bad at giving helpful advice. He's like the opposite of me. This is the worst kind of TikTok. It's selling the dream of getting better by showing quick tips. First, get a $900 plugin, and this is what every dance arc is using. But these are so situational that it takes away from any actual learning. Whatever works for the algorithm, I guess. This guy loves the sound of his own voice. Band that covers the whole of the mix. Why are you using a multi-band compressor if you're just gonna use one band? He's just putting a compressor on the master. Even if I use Ableton's multiband, it's not gonna do anything because it's one band. And he's selling a thousand dollar course? As you can tell, I got to the point where I literally couldn't take it anymore. I have this mess of a song and my spirit has been broken by the vertical heads on TikTok. I'm breaking rule number four. <sighs> I gotta fix this. But remember, this is all in good fun. Everybody's at different experience levels. There's not any actual rules on how to make music, as long as it sounds good. So please be nice to any of the creators that I featured in this video. But before we get to listening to this cursed creation, I want to take a minute to talk about this video's sponsor. You know what it is. It's DistroKid, and it's the best way to release your music onto streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music. But what do you do once they're uploaded? You just wait for people to come flooding to your music? No, that's unrealistic. It's 2023 now. We don't do that anymore. Promote yourself properly using DistroKid's goodies menu. Under promote yourself, included with your subscription, you get goodies like promo cards to make posting about your fresh new song on social media, including TikTok, super easily. Look at all these designs. You can do videos as well like these. Then set up hyperfollow so you can have a pre-safe marketing page and links to all of your songs once your song goes live. So next time you're thinking about releasing, consider using DistroKid because of all the promotional tools they have available. Plus, since you're watching this right now, you get 7% off your first year with my VIP link. So go on, sign up now. And as always, thank you DistroKid for sponsoring this video. There you go, it didn't turn out so bad, right?